This plant is an example of a Morphophallus titanum, which is a corpse flower. Uh, these are native only to Sumatra in Indonesia. Universities and botanical gardens have limited access to obtaining seed or young tubers of the plants. We've had this now in the greenhouse for three years. It's been growing very rapidly. The spathe, which is this uh, frilled part around it, will open up and at full open it will be like a frilly vase shape that opens up around it. It will be about three foot wide up to six foot high and that is when the uh, odor will take place. The smell has been referred to by some people as smelling like um, dead flesh or carrion. This particular plant seems to really like the tropical room and the conditions that we have it on. It's a happy spot for it and in fact the grower who donated to us, John Kawamoto from Hawaii, he had three seeds and this was one of them that he grew for two years and then sent to us. His other two are nowhere near as advanced as this. So I'm kind of comparing growth conditions in Hawaii versus in Binghamton, New York, and actually ours has found this to be a very good location. For me, I consider this a once in a lifetime event. Uh, they usually do not open this early in their development. It usually takes about 10, 13, or even longer years before one will flower. It is still fairly amazing that we've actually grown one to flower um, successfully. They are not always successful in all glass houses around the world. There are still very rare occurrences when they do flower that it does attract a lot of attention. They are a spectacular inflorescence. There's something about having a plant that is so large, the flower is so large, the inflorescence is so large, and yet it also heats up and produces that smell that permeates the whole area. We're projecting uh, that it will hopefully open to full open around or on September 14th. It could be a day or two earlier, it could be a little later. Uh, when they do, it's, it's a big event. Because it, be, it could be like 70 years before one does it again. It could be as, as little as 13 years, as little as a couple years, or as long as 100 years before one will flower again. It was donated through the efforts of Warner Stiegler, our alum, and he did give it a name in keeping with the tradition that uh, most of the Amorphophallus titans, titanums have is that we name them after a mythological titan. He named it Metis, M-E-T-I-S, after the goddess of learning and teaching, which I felt was very appropriate for Binghamton University.